Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super Theory, and this is a very interesting one. This was a subscriber recommendation from Kaguya no Kaze. Now, I'm going to start this off by reading his theory that he left me in the comment section on my Dragon Ball Super Episode 16 review. You guys can go back there and read it and comment on it if you guys have any ideas. I'm going to read his and then give my thoughts on his theory, pretty much. So he says, um, he's going to make a future prediction based on a theory of his about Goku and Vegeta within the Dragon Ball Super Series involving Whis and Beerus. He thinks that Whis is looking to replace Beerus with either Vegeta or Goku as the new god of destruction and in the process of doing so retire on his own as the aide slash assistant to the god of destruction so he can reside on earth to be a food connoisseur. So he's essentially saying that Whis wants to replace himself and Beerus with Goku and Vegeta. So he continues, in the Battle of Gods movie Whis asks Goku if he'd be interested in the god of destruction position in the future and Goku declines. In Dragon Ball Super Whis referenced Vegeta of the position in order to receive special training. Yes, I believe that was episode 16. Uh, actually, the video that this, uh, anyways, 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 back to it. Um, he said that was already a prelude to his ulterior motive. We know Goku is going to train alongside Vegeta on Beerus' planet as well. If we got to know if we see a cranky Beerus wake up and ask Goku in suspicion as to why is he here on his planet and if he has any ambition to usurp him of the title of God of Destruction. Also in the same movie, we saw Beerus whisper to Whis to keep quiet about him giving Freeze the order to destroy Planet Vegeta while catching Goku and Vegeta, while watching Goku slash Vegeta, my bad, versus Freeze of the fight because he's uncertain as to if he'll be able to defeat either Saiyan in the future. Furthermore, Goku and Vegeta's relationship is similar to Whis and Beerus in the way of them constantly bickering and disagreeing with each other with the exception that Whis and Beerus get along better. I can see that. This makes both Saiyans ideal for the position of God of Destruction and the assistant to the God of Destruction. Vegeta is obviously the better choice for the God of Destruction because he's more stern than Goku and has no inhibitions about destroying something if need be. Goku is more suited as the assistant due to his down to earth demeanor and he'd be the one more powerful. In matter of fact, and he'd be the one powerful enough to keep Vegeta in line the same way Whis does if Beerus starts destroying random planets, stars, etc. for no particular reason. So, these positions would also give our respective Saiyans the opportunity to seek out strong opposition throughout the solar system and parallel universes, whether if they choose to reside on Earth or choose another base of operations. Even if it doesn't happen, it's like, oh wait. So that's pretty much his theory in its entirety. Um, he's essentially saying that he thinks that Whis has an ulterior motive and Whis has been trying to hand out the position of God of Destruction like hotcakes. He wants ultimately one of the two scenes to be able to take that position. And if you look at the movies, and, and if you look at the Battle of Gods movie for one, he did ask Goku, hey, you want to be the God of Destruction? And Goku's like, no, 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 I don't want that. And then in Dragon Ball Super, uh, when Vegeta asked Whis to train him, when he begged Whis to train him, Whis was like, okay, I'll train if you become the God of Destruction. So yeah, he's right. Whis is seriously trying to offer that position up, which is very interesting because it's not even his position to offer up. I think that, you know, he's, Whis... Uh, to be honest, he's a character that we haven't had any elaboration on. I hope that we do get some elaboration on Whis at some point in the series. But honestly, just, you know, in my heart of all hearts, I really just don't think we're going to get too much elaboration on, on Whis. Because there's just, there's just this whole aura around Whis just being so mysterious. Like, we don't know who this guy is. We don't know what this guy can do. When he was asked who he is, he says, oh, I'm just a life form named Whis. Like, what kind of answer is that? Like... That doesn't answer the question, like, who are you? It's weird because he has godly like Ki, and he has the ability to turn back time, and he's also stronger than the God of Destruction. I believe Toriyama said that Beerus is a 10 and Whis is a 15, so he's significantly stronger than Beerus is. It's like, who is this guy? Like, you would think that the God would be the highest level you can get to, but there's another level. He's not necessarily just an assistant, he's his mentor, he's his trainer, but I don't know, I think that we need some elaboration on the Whis character, but he does seem like he has an ulterior motive. In that same episode where he, where Vegeta offered, or I'm sorry, where Whis offered Vegeta the position of a God of Destruction, um, and Vegeta turned it down, obviously Whis left him alone, but in the following episode when Goku came up and he asked if he could come train too, he didn't bring up Goku becoming the God of Destruction again, but what he did say, which kind of caught my attention and it caught a few other people's attention as well, he said, yeah, this is the perfect time for you to come. It's like, why is it the perfect time for, for Goku to come now? 
probably because Vegeta surpassed him, and which, you know, looking at episode 18, because it has aired, it's implied that Vegeta is now significantly stronger than Goku is. But what kind of just, you know, made me take a step back is because when him and Bulma were walking off, she was like, what did you mean? He was like, oh, did I say that? It's just like, Whis has this whole, like, just this aura around him, like, he's just... I don't know, and it's just weird, even Vegeta alluded to it, and Vegeta was like, you know, I can't attack him. It's not key, but there's something else around him. It's like, he physically has an aura around him, and then he's so mysterious, and it just bothers me, but, you know, honestly, I think it would be great if we did have some sort of ulterior motive, that's pretty much what I've been talking about this whole time, and he did want to offer the two Saiyans the position, because the reality is, these guys, Honestly, they shouldn't have been able to reach Super Saiyan 1 in the first place, but now they're reaching new heights again. They're getting to this god level, and based on the nature of how things have been going for Vegeta, it does seem like he skipped the ritual. That says a lot for Vegeta's character, uh, just so much about these guys in general that they've reached this level of power. And if Whis is able to, you know, retire and be a food connoisseur, as Kageyu no Kazu says, uh, Kageyu no Kaze says, my bad, um, that would be great for him. I'm sure he would enjoy it. He would probably just reside on Earth, period, and just stay there permanently. He ain't got to make these back and forth trips. I think that they would be the perfect uh, compare and contrast with Goku and uh, Vegeta because Goku will always be just a slight bit stronger, even if, like in Re Resurrection F, it's implied they're pretty much even. Goku still was a tad stronger. He'll always be like that, but that's not a problem. I think that it would be great for him to be the one that's, you know, the assistant, so to say, but he's not gonna take on a similar role, being that he's not going to train Vegeta the same way. He's not gonna be like a master like Whis is to Beerus, and he's also not gonna serve him. Beerus, he's not gonna listen to what Vegeta says. Vegeta says, Goku, go make me some food. He's not gonna go make Vegeta some food. If you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not gonna be his literal servant, but I think that just by the nature of those two positions, it would serve both of them really well if they were able to have those positions because there would be no limitations on what they can do. Uh, I think that, you know, Know, just those two guys they want to Goku specifically they just want to fight strong people yeah, and I think that if they do have those positions they can just universe hop find whoever they want fight them you know they'll live forever essentially like it's great for them win-win so let me know you guys' thoughts like I said this comment is on uh, Dragon Ball Super Episode 16 review which will be linked down below in the description I want to know you guys' thoughts on on his theory as well I want to know you guys' thoughts about my thoughts on his theory so let me know <laughs> down below in a comment. Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.